Hey, what's up, guys? Poochie Gaming here with a quick and easy tutorial. This is gonna be a part-time series, uh, once every Saturday, on how to fly in Planet Side Two. Now, as you see, there's my friend here, Aaron, as you probably know, Kun the Goon. Hey, guys. Be, trying to act retarded. Anyway, <laughs> what you want to do is a, to, one first step to do to learn how to fly well is go to settings, go to general, and turn your flight vehicles sensitivity up around 0.75. This will help make you sharp, quick, quicker turns, especially in a mosquito during battle. Alright. Now, uh, the basic controls are space is to climb up. Ooh. And then control is to go down. That's also very important. Yeah. Not too many people know that. Yeah, control is helpful. Control is to go down. This will help. Uh, this will be better once you get into liberation and, and galaxies. And the A arrow is to slowly yaw to the left. The D arrow is to slowly yaw to the right. Forward arrows forward, back arrows backwards. You know, the basic stuff. Oh! <laughs> Whoa, that was close. That's how you're not to fly. Well, yeah, you gotta look around. <laughs> POV's not very good, so you always have to keep a sharp eye on your map. Oh, yeah. Anyway, so, once you get to flight uh, vehicle, <laughs> if you are used to <laughs> Battlefield 4, you're probably used to putting the mouse up or pushing or pulling the mouse down is up. If you want that, go to general and do invert vertical fly. That's it, pretty much. And Aaron is now sitting on top of me. Oh god! Whoa! 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 <laughs> oh, 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 I died too. Still moving forward! Died. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, guys, as you see, Aaron just died. Anyways, back to the tutorial. I'm half health, I'm sorry. Anyways, so now we learn how to hover, how to yaw, how to go forward, back, and tilt. Tilting is using your mouse. Um, what we want to do next <coughs> is pick your field of view. If you press T once, you can be in this view, which is first person view. This, view is, person. this view is for, yeah, first person, third person. This view is good for shooting in first person. Um, it's not the best for flying, can't really see your surroundings. If you press T again, you are in third person, and this is my favorite view, just for flying around, landing, getting out of dog chases and stuff like that. And also, it increases your POV, because that makes it important. If someone goes out of your field of view trying to get you off, like in Battlefield with the jets, it's the same idea where you hit the, uh, the third person view, and then you could see a lot more. Yeah. He's, he's right. You want more field of view when you're flying around. Uh, except for when you fight, well, except for when you're killing someone, because you need those targets. Anyway, so, I'm gonna land here. Good day. Once, good day. Sorry, okay. Anyways, <laughs> once we've done that, um, you will see on your corner, on the bottom hand of your screen, or in your cockpit, afterburner. If you start going straight and you press shift, this is afterburner. Gets you really fast, super fast. This is great when you're trying to get out of combat. And what you basically want to do is you press shift, hold it, and you go very, very fast. You want to demonstrate it, Aaron? Go, go. And now I can barely catch up to him. Like, I don't know where the hell he is. Oh, he's right back there. It's good for getting away from liberators, anti-air, things like that. And as you, you can see, Aaron, I just lost him already. There he is, back there. Uh, you might want to upgrade that a lot, too, because... Helps definitely a lot. Yeah, for sure. Get Whoa. more, get more afterburn, all that stuff. Anyways, next flying tip is what you want to do is just go into VR training and start practicing around. Get get the good field controls. Um, just some normal smooth turns. Learn how to fly. Learn how to maneuver around rocks, trees. Especially if you're an Amrish, trees are a pain in the ass. Yeah, flying low is good to practice too. Once you get a little higher level, try to try to do that. Um, yeah, start flying in between rocks, around rocks, through caves, all that type of stuff. Um, and a great way to quickly turn to going really fast like this right now. You want to bank to the left, slow down your speed, press uh, A, and pull back really quickly. This will make you do a quick 180 turn <laughs> super quickly. It just try makes to do it. Yeah, that's how you do it. Again, you go straight, you bank to left or right, you press the back, press D or A, and pull back really quickly, and you're gonna make a pretty much 180 degree turn. 
Now you pretty much know the basics of flying. You know how to fly, you know how to go, you know how to maneuver. Aaron just died. Did you hear that? Do you hear Trees that? Trees are evil. <laughs> That's the sound of failure from Aaron. Not a great flyer. Anyways, so next thing you want to do is you, what you guys probably want to do is attack enemy targets on the ground. Let's start with the ground first. First of all, I gotta find them, man. Okay. I could be your ground target, sir. Oh, yeah. Okay, once Aaron comes out, we'll get him a ground target. I'll just wait for you. Alright, I'm right in front of you. Okay. Alright, guys, so now as you see, Aaron is on the ground as a flash, and someone is already trying to kill him. Nice. <laughs> so, what you want to do is you want to kill him. Is you want to start out with third person view as you're flying around. As soon as you see him on the mini map or in your view, press T, go to first person view. Oh, that's a voice crack. Holy crap. Go to first person <coughs> view. Oh, whoa. Sorry. <laughs> go to first person view. You will see Kuhn the Goon. What you want to do is go right at him and just pretty much attack him as much as you can. And then lift right up just before you hit the ground. So um, working out for that time there, so you want to get as low as possible, get as many rounds as possible into the burst, and then make your way out of there as quick as possible. Yeah, use that quick 180 turn maneuver I taught you guys to quickly go back and attack them. And then shift the hell out of there. Oh yeah, shift the hell out of there so they don't see you or attack you at all. Also, make sure to press space to lift up as fast as you can. It's a really easy way to do it. Uh, start off slowly, don't use afterburner yet. Uh, once you start getting better at shooting Aaron, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, start using shift, quick attacks, quick bursts, and get out of there right away. Do a 180 turn, and just attack him right away again. Now for uh, ground targets, as you slowly level up with your certs, or if you have already enough certs, getting the uh, Hellfire missiles are great, big damage on uh, any vehicle that you could possibly hit. Uh, it does take a lot of training, just like... Uh, uh, the helicopters in uh, Battlefield where they kind of there's gravity to it so they kind of go down so just getting your aim proper is good there. Oh shit. Hey! hey that's <laughs> the tree again. <laughs> so yeah, what Aaron said. Always want to get Hellfire is great. It's pretty much a massive, massive, massive rapid fire rockets. Yeah. Right, great let's for ground see. targets. Let's do air to air now. Yeah, up next air to air battle. This is the hardest battle. I mean even great people who know how to fly have trouble getting down enemies. Yeah, but the, the key to evade, the good offense there, is quickly turning. So uh, I don't know if you guys know this trick, but maybe pulling up in a, in a, any mosquito of any sort, just like in Battlefield, or if you were to put that to one key so you could just pull up in one key, it'll save you from pushing your mouse over and over and over again so that you can just delays and stuff like that. So that's always a good idea. Yeah, it's also good to turn up your sensitivity so you don't have to just keep pulling, pulling, pulling as fast as you can. You just slowly pull. Get used to having high sensitivity in planes. Okay, let's go find Aaron, eh? Oh, there he is. So, I'm guessing if you were the one attacking, so Aaron, you fly away. Okay. You want to be in first person view. You want to have a high sensitivity, and you just want to keep on falling as much as you can with maneuvering. If he's flying one way, make sure to shoot ahead of him. So bullets reach him. You may not see, there's no um, attack targets, but you'll see the bullets attack his plane. Yeah, like I can hear it. Uh, you might want to get used to that, so practicing in VR training is very important for this. So yeah, If you have a do friend, that. do that too. Exactly. Shoot him in the ass. Yeah, just like I'm doing right now. The just best place that. to kill him is a, a straight away. Yeah. yeah. The best place to kill him. And slowly now, as you uh, level up with your certs, getting uh, lock-on missiles very easy. Very easy indeed. Yeah. The next level of fighting is when the person in front of you has crazy good maneuvers. So now he is doing crazy loops and stuff. And now this is very hard to get him. You have to make sure you, you practice all your skills that are taught before. Slowing down, quick turns, 180 degree turns, low flying, high flying, screw mountains flying. Make Just sure to... Sorry, go ahead. No, no, go for it, go for it. Make sure to use your boost uh, and use your minimap to remember to, fa to find him or to catch up to him. Oh my god, even I'm having trouble. 
I mean, this is... He is doing insane amounts. And this is good, because... You can evade people like this. AV turrets, any type of plane. <laughs> All right, I lost you. I don't know where you went. Oh, really? All right. Yeah. All right, you take this wrong. All right, so uh, now it's the defense part. Yeah, defense so time. So basically in a defense is you don't want to be in the same spot at the same time at all, ever. So when he's got his crosshairs on you, he has to move his whole shit to get to hit you. So you want to keep moving as mo most as possible, as much as possible. So shit, not, so as Chris is doing right now, I could hit him easily. He's just going in a straight line. If we were to do a flip or something like that, I'd have to follow him, have to move my whole ship, and that takes time. And that makes his crosshair move and stuff like that. Also, doing a uh, barrel roll in the straight middle, it'll make sure that it'll confuse him. Just regular air tactics, stuff like that. People know that from seeing in the movies and stuff like that. It actually works. Ooh. Also, this is also when you want to turn sensitivity way up. And also, using your afterburns at the right time. So let's say I'm flying straight casually. He finds me. Oh, shit. What you want to do is go straight for a little bit. Start to wiggle him off. But then do bank, quick turn, fly very low, and just afterburn out the hell out of there. Just afterburn the hell out of there. Because usually in a one-on-one -on -one fight, 90% of the time he's going to be a level 100. He's going to be tricked out, and you don't really have a chance. So getting out of there over your own base, get some anti-air on him. That'll get you of, out of the bad yeah. situation. Yeah, he's right. A lot of people who are doing lots of air-to-air -air fights are very high levels. And if you're starting, to, if you're just starting out, you want to know a bunch of tactics. Like around the mountains like these, if I'm going to crash, no, I'm not. Oh, that's a tree. Oh, I died. See, look see, at that. See, look how well that worked. Flying low, close to the mountains, makes the enemy die. That's how you pretty much invade people. So anyway guys, this is kicks off the first segment of how to fly in Plan Side 2, uh, mosquito version this time. Next week will be Liberators and then your favorites, Galaxies. Big huge ass monsters. Anyways, I hope you guys I hope this helped you guys. Uh, I'd like to take a quick thanks to Aaron or Coon Lagoon. Yeah, right no over problem. There. Happy to be here. Happy oh, to yeah. help. Um, make sure to click that subscribe button, get more of these videos, and funny videos of Plan Side 2 with us. Goon uh, Squad! <laughs> Goon Squad's very funny, trust me. Uh, click that like button. Anyway guys, catch you next time.